Hello everybody, and I hope you're all still fit and well out there. I'm finally getting round to uploading some wood pigeon decoy footage. And don't worry, there's more to come, including an evening with the HW97, which I'm sure you Springer guys will love to see. But back to this evening, where I managed to get away from work a wee bit early, and lifted the gear and went out onto the stubble fields and set the hide and all up in decoys for about 4 o'clock. Most of the winter barley has been cut by now, but there's still a field or two of spring barley that's still standing that the farmer's looking protected. The hide I'm using I think's called the double bush hide from bushware.com and it's a wee bit bigger as it's designed for two people so it gives me a wider arc left to right compared to the single chaired one. I covered it with one of the two ply ghost stealth nets in woodland and I'm busily adding all sorts of weeds and grass into it to try and um, get it to match the hedgerow behind it as best as possible. I used to build a traditional hide with netting and hide poles and sit in the ground but after a time or two of getting soaked I started using this and haven't looked back. It's more comfortable, keeps you drier and it gives you a much higher point of view. Plus it's much quicker to put up. There wasn't really much of a breeze blowing this evening so I just set the decoys out in a semicircle in front of the hide with the furthest bird out at about 30 yards away which is my rifle zero. I couldn't really tell you what make the decoys are as I've had them for years but they are a full sized body fully flocked decoy that I touched up at one time with some paint from B&Q which probably wasn't the best idea because it was water based paint and they used to run now and again but they seem to have settled in nicely now and they do seem to attract the pigeons so they're working for me. The rifle I have with me today is my BSA Super 10 blueprinted by John Bowkit. It's putting out at about 15 foot pounds of energy in 2.2 caliber and I'm using the JSB 15.9 grain pellets. The scope is a Nico Sterling 4 to 16 by 44 target master with the LRX radical. The silencer is a Virax silencer and I have the Tacticam 5.0 and FTS unit mounted to it for the scope cam footage. Now I'm sure I sat for over an hour with absolutely nothing, even though there was a pile of birds in the field when I arrived, only to see a large flock of birds up in the top left hand side of the hill there getting spooked, and I was about to see why. Yep, a buzzard, and not just one of them, two of them which decided after taking a go at one of my decoys to sit in a small tree in the hedgerow behind me. So thinking that I'll never manage to decoy pigeons with a couple of buzzards sitting in a tree above me, I decided to try and push it on let's say with my best Scooby Doo impression. <coughs> Only for a wood pigeon to fly right by the tree with a buzzard sitting in it and land in the field in front of me. Then a second wood pigeon landed about 15 yards in front of me even though there was still a buzzard hovering around above it. After that shot the buzzards decided to thankfully clear off but the wood pigeons thankfully decided to roll in. Is he trying to curt my decoy? Yeah, I missed it. I don't know how, but yeah, I missed it. Now, this is more like it, hey. Ah, 
I'm sorry if these close-up shots are a wee bit blurry, but I honestly don't have time to mess about with the scope parallax. I went out and had a wee bit of a tidy up, and set the few birds that I had shot up as decoys, to see if it would help settle incoming birds better, as they don't like seeing birds sitting on their back. I thought with the way the sky was looking, I was going to get a lot of heavy rain, but thankfully it stayed a perfect evening. I'm using a, I don't know what you call it, either a high shoulder shot or the base of the neck, but it seems to work well for me. That was a young wood pigeon, as it doesn't have the white neck bars yet, but it has the white wing bars. A bit more of a tidy up to help keep the pattern look attractive to incoming birds. Nope, that one saw something it didn't like. Yeah, how did I miss that? There wasn't much of this one shown through the long stubble. Quick and easy one this time. This one just can't make up its mind where it wants to land. Thankfully though, it, or another one, finally decided to drop in at about 20 yards away.
That one hardly touched the ground till it flew off again. And this one gives me a merry chase through the scope before finally flying off. Frustrating, but that's pigeon decoying for you. But, on the other hand, if things are going right for you, you can have a steady stream of birds coming into your decoy pattern. If you notice birds flying into your pattern but not settling and flaring off at the last minute, you need to get out and tidy up the pattern. Set the dead birds up as decoys. And I find the more dead birds I set up, the better the decoy pattern gets. And I use a short piece of stiff wire about 8 inches long up into the bird's chin and then stuck into the ground to make them sit as if their head's slightly up out of the stubble. Of course though, no matter how good your decoy pattern is, not every pigeon wants to play ball. Now this pigeon's come right round and landed to my extreme left hand side. So far so I had to lift the rifle off of the tripod and try and poke it out through the hiding netting on the left hand side of the hide to get the shot. The picture quality is not great but I got the bird. Though there was something odd about the sound of the shot so I walked out to the bird and sure enough even though it had been shot in the head it was still alive. So I quickly dispatched it and added it to the decoy pattern. Yeah, I made too rash a movement there and the bird spotted it. That one wasn't so fortunate though. Well, the evenings dragged on, the birds seemed to have lost interest and the light starting to fade so I decided to call it a night. Goodness, I think my legs had forgotten what they were used for. Well, looks like I did better than I thought it would for the few hours I was here. Thirteen and all. Unlucky for some, but for a few hours decoying with an air rifle, I'll take it. Though I honestly don't think I would have had anywhere near this amount if those buzzards hadn't a thankfully spooked the birds off of where they were feeding on top of the hill. Anyway folks, I hope you've enjoyed it, and keep an eye out for more including an evening's decoying with the HW97. But, until then, take care and look after yourselves, hey.